I'm Joe Krein, and we're on Elvis Express Radio, and my guest today is Maggie Hargett. How you doing, sir? Doing fine, thank you. Okay, now everybody's going to wonder, because they really don't know your name. Uh, you're a relative of Elvis Presley. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Now, what, what is Elvis to you? Uh, he's a third cousin. He's a third cousin. Now, uh, I've seen a lot of photos that you have on right now on the roots of Elvis Presley, and uh, a lot of them are at Graceland. Uh, yes, sir. I was in and out probably 20 years. Yeah, and uh, did you get to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Elvis when Elvis became very uh, famous? Well, when he became famous, I went my first trip in 1960, and then I visited up there in and out, and he died, and then I visited Vernon. For about two years after Elvis died, that's when I saw him the last time. Uh huh. Now you were very close to Vernon. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you tell me uh, anything about Vernon and some of your trips to uh, Graceland and that? Well, Vernon's uh, dad, Jesse D. Presley, and my grandmother were half brothers and sisters. Mm hmm. And uh, my mother lived on the same block with them in the late thirties. In Tupelo, and then uh, when I got my driver, my father was killed in World War Two, and when I got my driver's license, I drove uh, to Grayson for my first time. Mm -hmm. And Vernon was real nice, and, and so I visited in and out for 20 years. Now Elvis didn't mind you doing that, did he? Uh, no, sir. No, I, I he went to the fairgrounds uh, at night. Uh, he rented movie theaters, or went to movie theaters. Mm -hmm. um, Bobby and Billy Smith on Elvis's mother's side, um, they were in and out up there. I, I got to know them real well. And Patsy Presley, which is Vester's daughter, Vernon's uh -huh. brother's daughter. Right. I got to know her well. And uh, grandmother Minnie uh, lived there. And then I would meet uh, Vernon's sisters when they would visit. And sometimes they'd be there when I'd go. Yeah, Nash. But it was something for a young young guy like me to be uh, around someone so famous, you know. I bet. That must have been incredible. <laughs> it was. I never asked for any money. That's good. I was just there, just for family. Uh-huh. I think Vernon, that's why Vernon respected me. Uh -huh. yep, was able to go back many times. Uh, you know, it seems like it seems like uh, uh, Vernon pushed some of the family away. Is that because some of them did ask for money? I don't know. All I can say, uh, we had a family reunion yesterday in Tupelo, uh -huh. uh, birthplace, uh -huh. a lot of the Presley's, and uh, out of all of them were there. I was telling my wife, I said, you know, it's amazing out of all the presidents here, and there's probably not but two of us that ever got to visit Graceland, and one probably only, one one family probably only went one time. And I was in and out for 20 years, and I didn't realize that Vernon was really uh, so, that I was special to him, you know, that, that I got to visit him more than anyone. I didn't really realize that until life was all, all over. Yeah, you really were. You really were, sir. You were very lucky to get as close as you did because a lot of the interviews in that that I've done, uh, he did. He pushed family members away, and it must be because of that. Maybe. Yeah. But Vernon realized up front that, that I wasn't there for money, and I didn't have a father. You know, he he might that might have had something to do with it. Uh huh. What kind of a person was uh, Vernon? He was a very nice person. Uh -huh. uh, he was always level-headed, and uh, and then you know after Elvis's mother uh, passed away, then he remarried a lady named Dee. Right, Dee Presley. Yeah. Right. And Devada. To me, she got more important than Vernon did, and finally that all ended before Vernon died. What What do you mean uh, by that? They split up. Right. What do you mean that she, wait a minute, 
Sir, what, what do you mean by she got more important than Vernon did? I don't understand. Her action, her ways. Oh. Uh, she felt more important than Vernon, you know, that's a, just her attitude. Oh, like she was better than everybody else? Well, I won't say she's better. She just had a stronger attitude. But uh -huh. she was more down to earth. It's so, you know, it's just common people. He was more down to earth, what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, okay. What was uh, D nice? Oh, yeah, she never true. She was always nice to me, but she just, uh, as the old saying, had airs, you know. Uh-huh. I'm not saying anything bad about her. I mean, no. No. Vernon, pardon me one second. Uh, so did you spend a lot of time at Dolan Street? Say what now? At Vernon's home on Dolan Street. Did you spend some time there at I, Vernon's home? I visited Vernon at three different places. Uh -huh. I visited him when I first started going in 1960. So he lived in Graceland with Ellis. Right. And uh, and then after, and then he moved two or three blocks over. I visited there. Mm -hmm. And then after him and Dee kind of split up, then he moved to another place. So I visited about three places. Yeah. I was a guest. And, uh, I would visit Vester, that's Verna's brother. Right. And Patsy, that's his daughter, only daughter. I would visit them. Uh-huh. Now, Vester worked at the gates, right? Yes, sir. He, he he worked the gates most of the time. And then there was a Smith guy who worked the gate, too. Right. On Elvis' mother's side. And then Bob and Billy Smith, they were, like I said, were in and out up there. And one night... Uh, about 60 or 60, about 61, Billy was a double first cousin to Elvis. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he was a first cousin, Billy was. Patsy was a double first cousin. Brothers married sister, Vernon Best married sister. Patsy was a double first cousin. But Billy, he and I were, or Bobby, he and I were crossing the road, uh, Graceland, uh, across the 51 interstate, the highway, four lane. And I crossed ahead of him, and I heard a car squealing. I turned around and it had a car had hit Bobby, flipped him up on the hood and really did a lot of damage to his legs. And then he died, and I, well, he got over that, but then he, he died later. That was wow. Bobby's uh, brother. Now that happened right outside of Graceland? Yes, sir, in front of the yard, in the front highway, as you come out of the gate. We uh -huh. were going across the street to get some gum, uh, Billy and I. Uh -huh. I mean, Bobby and I. And, uh, on the way back, he got hit. And Lamar Fites went to the hospital with me. I had to pick up uh, Billy's brother, Bobby's brother, Billy. And and uh, he was at a girlfriend's house, and I dropped him off. And, and then Lamar Fites and then uh, Billy went on to, Memphis, to the hospital. Uh -huh. And then Elvis come in, and uh, Vester's was there, and Vester's wife. Mm -hmm. Now, Mackie, uh What's your earliest remembering, remembrance of Elvis? Uh, you're talking about being with him or just acknowledging who he was? Uh, acknowledging who he was. I mean, did you, knew, did you know Elvis before he was famous? Well, see, as I said, my mother, well, my grandmother uh -huh. and Jesse D were half brother and sister. They had the same daddy but they had different mothers. Rose Presley was never married. Right. And she had several kids. Uh, and about, uh, out of about eight kids, I think she had, or seven or eight, anyway, six of them belonged to my grandfather, John Wallace. He had his own family. It's, it's sad to say, I mean, I hate it happens, but Elvis Presley did come out of that situation. But anyway, uh, uh, Jesse D and my grandmother were half brothers and sisters. As I said, Rose never married, but she had she had kids by John Wallace, my grandfather. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then my grandfather had his own family. He was also married and had a family. Right. My grandmother. But uh, it's one of those things you didn't talk about back in, right. the, or in the way back a long time ago. You didn't talk about it much, but he became so famous. My mother knew it, my grandmother knew it, but chances are if he hadn't
and became so famous, he would have never got to me, you know? Right. But when he got so famous, my grandmother, uh, one, one Saturday morning, heard my mother sit me down and said, Elvis is a cousin of yours. That's when he first got famous, about 56. Right. And then in 1959, I was able to drive up there. So would you watch Elvis on TV and say, my goodness? Yeah, every time you like to see him. I mean, he was popular around the world. You know, anyone would always want to watch him. Huh? But it was really special knowing that I was related to him. Yeah. That was that was really special. I bet. Did you tell a lot of people? Yes, sir, I tell them. And a lot of them, you know, they'd make fun or snicker or laugh. And, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, they wouldn't believe you. Right. And I'd make a few pictures, as you see on the website. I always had a few pictures with all the family together. Uh -huh. And Anita Wood was up there a lot, too. That was one of his first girlfriends. Blonde-headed girl. Uh -huh. And, uh, she was beautiful. Most of the time, even when Elvis was in California, filming, uh, Anita Wood stayed there a lot. She was gorgeous. She was a beautiful woman. Had a girl. If you look on the website, I've got a picture with her in a bathing suit. Yeah. Now, was she a nice person to talk to? Yes, sir. Anita was a very special lady. Uh huh. Um, Did you think Elvis was going to hook up with her? Well, I, I, I didn't know. You know I think yeah. That's something you don't. Uh, you don't really realize uh, famous people, you don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, was it, expected of, was it expected of you not to talk about Elvis? You know what I mean? Between by his father and, and him. Yeah. So what, they, what they were pointed out of me, they didn't care for me coming, but they didn't want me to bring no one else. Right. Was that a ruling? Yeah. Well, it, I won't say it's a ruling. That's just the way they didn't. They didn't want many people, you know, outside of who they invited. You know, they didn't. It's just like an old fishing hole. They somebody yeah. might tell you to come fishing, but they don't want you to bring everybody and your brother. You know. Right. And that's the way it was between Vernon and I. I had friends that wanted to go, and, and I've got a lot of cousins on the Wallace side of the family, but I never took them because Vernon didn't want me to. I guess he thought I was enough, and I was so so thankful for that, you know. Sure, and probably once you ever did it. Sir? And probably once if you ever did it. Yeah, that would have probably ruined my relationship. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Don't do that. I bet you you had a lot of girls saying to you, come on, Mackie. Yeah. Bring I, me to see Elvis. Them and, and a lot of just boys, you know. Really? You mean, that I run with. Yeah. And, uh, but I always just... When I'd get ready to go, I'd just uh, get out of the high school, you know, and I'd head out on Friday afternoon going to Memphis, Tennessee, and, uh, and then I'd go back and go to school on Monday. Uh -huh. But it was something for a teenager, you know. Sure. To, to be there. Mackie, did you know uh, Elvis's mom well, Gladys? No, sir. No, sir. I, I never, I, I didn't know her. No, you didn't go to the funeral? No, sir. Well, see, it was 19. It was 1964. I was got my driver's license to go up there. Uh -huh. My mother, I was only on on child. You must have been absolutely blown away when you found out that Elvis was your cousin. I really was, and I was more blown away when Vernon introduced me to him. I bet. Can you? And we were we were in the. I mean, we will forget. We, my mother and I went the first time, and he wasn't there, so Vernon told me to come back later. And so I went back later, and there, Vernon was living there then, him and Dee. And I never will forget going in the living room of Graceland, and there Vernon was, uh, he had a uh, walking cane like Bat Matheson. Uh -huh. it, was, it was just a fad. He wasn't crippled. He just had this walking stick, you know. It was just something people, a lot of them had back then, just to walk with, you know, whether they needed it or not. Vernon had one of those. And there we were in the living room of Graceland, and, and Vernon said, come on back here, and we went to the kitchen. Because the living room was open, you know, all, all, at night, Elvis invited a lot of friends up, and there's a lot of people in, in the living room. And so Vernon said, come back in the, in the kitchen. So we went in the kitchen, and there's a staircase come down into the kitchen side, not the main entrance, another entrance. Right. And Ver Elvis come down, and, and Vernon, I mean, we'll forget this, Vernon said, Elvis, come here, man, I want you to meet a cousin of yours on the Wallace side of the family. And that was something. Wow. What did Elvis say to you? 
Beach. I said, glad to meet you. And I was just a young kid. I was still a teenager. Uh -huh. And I said, well, we, uh, I'd like to make a picture with you before I go home. And, and Elvis and them had a rule. You didn't make pictures inside of Graceland. Really? Very few people ever. You ever see a picture inside of Graceland. That's, they had something to do with it. Right. Just uh, people snapping the cameras. They just didn't do it. Right. Actually, I know uh, some bodyguards. They got in trouble for doing that. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Houston, Houston won't that. Yeah. He didn't can't blame me. No. He, he didn't have no privacy, no work. Uh, he had to go get out at night to get out. He couldn't go to war in the daytime. Yeah. What did you think of Graceland the first time you saw it, Mackie? Well, as like I said, we were just, my mother and I, you know, we, we just uh, grew up. Uh, week to week, you know, just barely getting by. Sure. I had a happy home. I had a good mother. But uh, to go up there and be around a bunch of, a lot of limousines, and he <laughs> had a Rolls Royce up there, and he had a uh, black uh, uh, limousine and a, and a white one at the same time. And it was amazing just to go up there and walk around those cars and open the door and look in, you know. I bet. It, it was amazing. Now, but he was such a great entertainer that even, even now I can watch a movie or, or listen to his gospel takes, you know, movies and stuff that he made on He Touched Me and stuff. It's amazing how, how, how great he was, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. It's a shame that he died young. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Mackie. Mackie, uh, you said that he, he, he invited you to go to Liberty Land? Well, see... He he rented Liberty Land. Uh huh. He rented that on Friday and Saturday night. On Saturday night, a lot of the after they closed out up at midnight. Uh huh. Elvis would rent the fairgrounds, the whole fairgrounds, for Liberty Land. He'd rent that for his own private party, and we'd ride roller coasters and whatever, and stay till daylight. Wow. And then leave out, and then he'd rent a theater, movie theater, from midnight till daylight. So you you went to Liberty Land in the theaters a lot. I've been to move, movies with him. I've been to Liberty Land, and uh, that's that's only you know that's only what he could get out. It was at yeah. midnight. Yeah, Mackie, do you remember uh, Priscilla when she was first around? No, sir. You I, I never see. I got married after that in the in the early sixties. I got married middle sixties. I got married. And, I was busy trying to have my own family, but I still, I still would go occasionally. Uh -huh. I was in and out for 20 years. I never missed a year without going. Sometimes I go twice a year, uh -huh. but uh, I always went. So, see, a lot of times I was in California. So a lot of those times that I'd talk to Vernon, he'd want me, Dad would let me come up. I was wanting to be there. Yeah. And uh, I spent more time with Vernon. I did anyone. Uh-huh. Did you go swimming in that swimming pool, Mackie? Yes, sir. I've been there. <laughs> and then he had two two stepkids. That's David. Uh, yeah. Ricky and David, I believe. Were now. Yeah, they Ricky, were David, boys. and Billy. Yeah, they were just small boys then. I, I've got them on the website, too, the one of those pictures. They're just small kids. I snapped Vernon on the swimming pool. Right. And then Grandma, Miss Minnie Hood, uh, She's on one of some of the pictures, and uh, her two daughters, Delta and Nash. Right. And Nash's girls in the background, they're on there. Yeah, Donna. Uh-huh. And Susie. And then her husband, Miss Nash's husband, is leaned over the rail, if you'll notice. Yeah. Now, that was Earl, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I think they're, and then Miss Big was there. Uh-huh. And then uh, many one shot, she was sitting there dipping snow. Had no toothbrush in her mouth. <laughs> Many dips in Did she really? This is a country lady. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 then I had a shot, snapshot of her. Her two daughters, Nash and Miss Big, were fixing to take her town. If you'll notice, she had her hat on. She was really dressed up. She was going to walk out to get in the car. They were going to take her to town that Saturday afternoon. Uh -huh. Vernon was up there. I mean, it was amazing. See, I was with the whole family in and out. I've seen all, I've, I've been with all of them. Right. The immediate family. Mm -hmm. But I never saw 
out of 20 years of going up there, I never saw no one else from Tupelo there. No other, no question. No, wow. They just, I don't know what the deal was. Yeah. I felt lucky after it was all over that Vernon spent the time on me as he did. Yeah. Mackie. When I come in on at Vernon's daddy's side, see. I'm not on the press's side, I'm on the Wallace side. Right. Which Elvis is really a Wallace, but everybody had to have a daddy. Right. But he went by the Presley name, uh, Jesse D. did, because he wouldn't marry. But on his birth certificate, he signed his daddy was named John. Right. Mackie? Now, I didn't realize back in the 60s that, that around the swimming pool, that there was like a fence that went all the way around that pool. It was kind of a, it was a white fence, and then it had the, that green plastic uh, piece of it, you know, like fiberglass. Right. Fiberglass you see through, maybe a three foot wide, and it'd be white, white, and then the green. It'd right. Cut the green in it, and it'd be white. And that was before they all died and was buried there, see. That was just a swimming pool, and now they've made a wall yeah. out there. Yeah. Did, did a lot of people look at you when you were coming through the gates to visit? Like, who's that? Yes, yes sir. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> it was amazing. A lot of times. If you'll notice on that Studebaker, I was coming down the hill, uh -huh. Grand Turismo Studebaker, I thought to myself, it's amazing, people at the gates are wanting in, and I've got to wait for them to open up to let me out. But you know, it's amazing to be inside there. I mean, I, I, that was something to be there, you know. Uh -huh. it, it didn't make me no better than nobody, it just made me feel proud that they acknowledged me and let me in there. But there were so many people who would love to have been there. Sure. But they just had to peek through the gate, you know. Yeah. Hey, uh, you stood next to some incredible cars. Now, you stood next to Gladys's car, the car that Elvis bought he for... That 56 Pink Cadillac. He bought that for his mother. And this was in, uh, uh, the first time I saw it was in 60. It was there, and it's still there today in the museum. Uh-huh. And, uh... Do you go I through the museum? Yes, sir. I've, he had uh, what he called Stutz, Stutz uh, Bearcat, what he called them? Yeah. Some other kind of car. The uh, Blackhawks. Blackhawks, yeah. He had uh, one of those up there, and it's in the museum, I think. Now. Yeah. Now, do you remember the big, long Cadillac that's now inside the Country Music Hall of Fame? I, I, I remember the white. I, well, if you'll notice my pictures, I've got the white limo. Right. Okay, what they did, they took that limo and had it customized. That is the car. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, they customized that and put it on tour one time. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the white car that I've stood against and been in and, and uh, that, that was up there. And he had a black one, but the white one's the one that they supposed to have uh, reworked. And I think they did that. Uh -huh. did, did you get to drive around at all with Elvis in the cars? Well, I sat there. I sat in it. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, you know, I never drove it myself. No, yeah. Now, he, uh, uh, he had Wild in the Country, premier of Wild in the Country. Uh-huh. One of those pictures of me standing by him leaned up against the car. Did you notice that picture? There was one that, he, I don't know where, if you, Mr. Riley, put that on the website or not. I'm not sure. Standing by Elvis, uh, and it's a purple Cadillac convertible. Uh-huh. And it was in the movie, Follow That Dream. Wow, I'll have to look. It was you and they, they just used it in the, in the shot. Uh-huh. With it. But uh, I, I've, I've been around a lot of those limousines, a lot of his fine cars. And in Vernon, one time, he had a car lot. And he would sell Elvis's cars. Really? That's true. Uh, when him and Dee was married there, uh -huh. uh, he opened him up a car lot, and he sold some of Elvis's. Wow. I never heard of that. Wow. Did you ever... He did long, but he did for a little while. Uh, anybody would have been... If they had bought those cars, they would have had them a collector's item. Yeah, you're not kidding. You're not kidding. That's for sure. Mackie, in the 70s, you went... Did you ever go visit Elvis in the 70s? Yes, sir. Now, Elvis didn't let anybody go upstairs. No, sir. Now, that was the same with you? No, I've never been upstairs. I've looked up the staircase. All these years, you've never been upstairs. No, I never went up there. Elvis, he would go up and, uh, or Dakes, or, 
can go and wipe or something, but that right. was, uh, was something that most people didn't do. They didn't go up there. And they just all knew that that was off limits. That's right. The only thing we did, we stayed in what they called the young room in there and uh, come through the living room and through the kitchen, but we never turned mm -hmm. up the stairs. Right. In which a man's got to have his privacy. You're right. No, Mackie, you're right. Absolutely right. I can understand that. Now, you knew everybody that worked there. Uh, Red West. Uh, yeah. I a picture for Red if you look on some of them. Yeah. I knew the Smith boy, Gene, I believe was his name. Right. He was one of them there. Lamar Bites was one of them. Uh huh. Um, Do you see any of them now? Bailey was a uh, first cousin. He he traveled with him. Sometimes he'd go where he made uh, movies. Uh huh. But I never did. I mean, it would have been wonderful to just stay with him, you know, and went to California for months, you know, be with him. But I had my own life to live. Right. And and I'd rather just go see Vernon two or three times a year is mm -hmm. to impose and try to follow somebody else, you know. Everybody's got their own life to live. Yeah. Now, you got along with all the guys that worked for Elvis? Oh, yes, sir. And I'll tell you, someone else was up there I met a lot, was up there a lot. George Klein. Uh huh. He was a disc jockey. Right. And he was up there a lot. Now, Mackie, do you see any of them anymore? I haven't been up there in a long time. But uh, since Patsy, I mean, since uh, Priscilla's opened the house up, you know, the old, the old gang's not there. Right. Uh, and most of them are dead, but what, two or three are living? They're not there. I would like to hunt up Patsy again and see her. I'm going to try to find her one oh, day. You, you haven't talked to Patsy in a long time? No, sir. Well, yeah, that would be good for you, Mackie. She's the only one that, that I know of that I'd like to. I did go by once, and, and uh, her son was working there. I talked to him. Right. But I'm going to go back and see Patsy someday. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. It's always hard for everybody, Mackie. Can you tell me when you learned that Elvis had passed away? Where was I at or what? Now? Can you tell me about it, where you were at and how you heard? And I'm a carpenter. I build houses. Uh-huh. And uh, my wife, my first wife and I had split up. And uh, we were separated. But after I got off of work at the house, that happened. And, uh, I never will forget it. But anyway, when I got home, my wife had called me. We were split up, but she called me and told me about it because she knew how close I was to them. In fact, I took her up there twice, two or three times, and she went with me. Uh -huh. And I took my daughter up there. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's, uh, there's two places people always remember where they were at. That's when Elvis Fester died and when John Kennedy got shot. Yeah, so now, how did you hear, sir? She, she told you? Well, I knew it. I'd already heard it on the radio. Uh huh. But when I got home, she called me again. Uh huh. And that's uh, because she knew how close I was to her. Must have devastated you. It did. It, it still does. Yeah. Uh, Mackie, yeah. did you go to the funeral? No, sir, I didn't. I, did, I went up there a few weeks afterwards. I uh huh. And paid your respects. But I, I did go and see Vernon a little bit after that. Uh huh. Kept in touch with Vernon. And how was Vernon after that, sir? He must have been... Vernon really went down. If you look at the photos of Vernon and I together uh, in the 70s and along, he was a pretty good-sized man. He was, you know, pretty heavy built. Uh -huh. And then if you look at the last picture in 78 that he and I made together just before he died, he had really lost a lot of weight. If yeah. you look, look at those two pictures on the website. Uh, uh, two or three visits and then look at the last one. After, uh, I guess we might say Vernon died when Elvis died, you know. Yeah, and it wasn't too long after, uh, well, I, I mean, I'm going to uh, yeah. Did you go to Vernon's funeral? No, sir. No. Didn't want to go. What did you think? I hadn't back, I hadn't, I don't think I've even been back to her. Really? Mackie, what did, what did, Really, Mackie, what do you think about when the, the three men tried to take Elvis's body? That's something. <laughs> what did you think of that? Well, uh, 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 he 
like I said, he was one of the greatest entertainers in the world, but that's something people should leave alone. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to have gotten your hands on them? Uh, well, it, they, they should be. It, it's just something that should have been done. You know? Yeah, no, that was... You need to dig an Indian up out of his grave. No, I agree. I agree. Um, so when was the last time you were at Graceland, Mackey? Well, the last time I was up there was about 78. When I, you know, well, I went through it after open for tour. I've been there, but it wasn't like it used to be. It's not? Well, I mean, it's, the place is there, and it's beautiful. But with all the people gone, it's just like going to an empty, an empty void place. You know what I'm saying? After you've been there with the family there. Yeah. And then I, all of them are dead and gone. And then it's open to the, for tourists. Uh, you'll sit there. And, 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 and you look at where you used to be, you know, maybe talking to them or being with them. Right. And you'll almost, you know, cry to yourself, you know. It's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to do if you've I bet. never been there. I bet. Uh, do, they even, do they even know who you are when you go there? Uh, Does the EPE? I, don't even, I didn't even tell them. You didn't tell them? The guards and the people, that I don't, if I, if I went, I don't even, I just go through like anyone else. Wow. That's got to be hard on you. Yeah. It is. I've got a lot of memories, and, and i got it on, on photos. <laughs> yeah, you got some incredible photos. Yeah, so you can't, uh, that's something I'll always have and cherish, you know. But, uh, but everybody dies. All we got is Jesus Christ, you know. Yeah. Do you have all your photos on the roots of Elvis? Uh, well, I had a lot more photos. You know, over the years, you have an old scrapbook, and people want to look at it. Uh huh. They'll go through your stuff, and you'll be busy talking to somebody else or doing something else, or even loan it to them. You know. Oh no. And you'll get your get your box pictures back, and then you'll be looking at them a year later, and two or three of them are gone. You know. Oh my gosh. So that that's happened. I've lost a lot of pictures. That way. And 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 I didn't have no. I didn't have no way to replace it. I, I just thank God I got as many as I, I have now. Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. I didn't have a lot of them that just disappeared. And I had, uh, he, he, uh, uh, I had a picture of him he autographed, and, and that was in the box, and somebody got it. Oh, my God, Mackie. Uh, oh, my I God. I had several pictures. I had several pictures, good pictures of gone. Wow. At least I had a few left. Yeah. I had more left, most people forgot. I'll put that way. Mackie, did you ever go see Elvis in concert? That, oh, no, sir. I Never? I didn't do that, but I've been with him at the fairgrounds. We sang together at the fairgrounds. Oh, yeah? We would, uh, we would, he always would sing, you know, at the fairgrounds. We'd all gang up at Red West and, and harmonize. He, he always uh, was humming something, you know. Uh-huh. And I enjoyed that. And I had friends that wanted a ticket. I helped get tickets for them. Uh-huh. I just never did go. You never went to some. I sure have, but I didn't. Did you ever... Mackie, did you... House, you know. Yeah. Mackie, did you ever play bumper cars with them? Yes, sir. We <laughs> played bumper cars at the fairgrounds. Uh-huh. They said he played rough. They what? They said he played rough. Yeah, yeah. And we rode roller coasters. Uh-huh. And uh, I've got one picture. I don't know where you know it's on the website. Well, this girl standing there by him, that's his, girl, his girlfriend that night. Uh-huh. You'll notice, uh, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, I heard my phone blink. I hope it don't go out. I may have to change phones. Okay, well, I'll just, I can just call you back if it happens. Okay. Um, so, Mackie, you didn't see him at Tupelo then when he, he got... 56? Yeah. Uh, no, to see, in 56, I was living in Brookhaven, South Mississippi. Uh-huh. And, but I would have loved to have been there. Yeah. Nobody put on from what, you know, the show you see, he really looked good. Yeah. Uh, he was, uh, he really, he, really, he was an artist. One of a kind. Mackie, did uh, you... Can I, let me, can, can I call you back up? Wait just a minute. I got another call. Yeah. Okay, can you hear me? Uh, Mackie, over the years, did newspapers ever try to contact you knowing that you were family? Well, the only paper is like, like I said, you see, uh, Jesse D's daddy, or, was John Wallace, and they were never married, him and Rose, had 
had yesterday. Uh -huh. John Wallace and Rose Preston had yesterday. They were never married. It's in all of the bookstores, you know, in the family tree, if you look, says Rose Preston never married. Everyone knows that. Right. But the fact is, I never wanted to go to no tabloid and try to sell my family out. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. I would never... I didn't ever want to even know my, and didn't know, nobody even know hardly who the dad was on the, our major family knew until I told Julian Riley. Uh -huh. And then I had my pictures to prove it. And then Julian had the uh, marriage license when Jesse D. remarried. He put his daddy's gun, gun on there. Uh -huh. and, and my grandpa was gone. They lived next door down at the Tilden community. And my grandmother told me about it. And Julian, Julian done a remarkable job tracing all this stuff down on the uh, Preston side, and then I filled in on the Wallace side. Yeah, no, Julian's done a great job. Good website, and I think he's going to do a book. Yeah. Yep, that's all. I didn't mean that. Oh, yeah, what I was getting at, you said newspaper. I, I didn't want to go to no tabloid and try to say, hey, man, you know who I am? I'm, I'm Elvis is really a Wallace, you know, and uh -huh. Everybody had to have a daddy, you know. Right. And I didn't try to stir up no stink. I didn't want no money, and I just kept quiet all yeah. the years. But I'm 65 years old, and Julian started this book, and it's never been a whole complete family tree. And so he, he, someone said, you need to contact me. I didn't contact him. He come to me because uh -huh. they knew that I was related. And so I said, well, it's time that everything. My pictures, all my pictures need to be used. My family needs to be used how it was. And it's time for the, the real truth. Everybody know who everybody really is. And so he did a remarkable job on the website. No, he really did. He really I did. didn't do it for money. He asked me, he said, well, how much money are you going to charge me on this, Mr. Riley? And I said, sir, I don't sell my blood. Right. This is just the truth, and that's all it is, is truth. Right. Hey, Mackie. Yeah, I am today. I don't do nothing for money on that. I'm just proud they're respecting me as family, you know? Yeah. Mackie, are you surprised that Elvis is still as popular today as he was back when he was alive? Amazing. I was watching a movie last night on a, a film that, uh, it was a family film that was made when he was about 56 when he was dating Anita Wood. Got a lot of her on the, on, on the movie. And it was amazing. And it, 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 it's, it's, it's amazing how, how he was loved, you know? Yeah. It, it's just, uh, he's not God, and don't nobody think he is. Right. But he, he's probably the most recognizable one person in the world. Yeah. Know, just normal people. By just one name. Just one name. Just one name. And uh, God gave him a talent. Yes, he did. A beautiful talent. And it, to me... His, his rock and roll is okay, but I love his gospel. I do too, Mackie. And uh, that's all I sing. I sing gospel, and, and, and that's, that's what I listen to on him. Do you? His gospel. Do you? Mackie, um, oh goodness, I had a I had a question in my mind, and <laughs> now I forget what it is. Uh, hold on for one minute. Man. That's all right. Hold on for one minute. Mackie, um... Did it upset you when people were trying to say that Elvis was still alive? Well, you know, people said the thing. I don't think they really knew thought that yourself. I think it was just, uh, I think that they knew really he was gone. It's just, uh, they maybe wished he was alive, you know. Right. I don't think nobody really believed it. Right. Well, I don't know. I've met some people that believe it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but, you know, some people were actually making books and making money off of that, trying to say that Elvis was alive living in Kalamazoo. Yeah. Yeah. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I appreciate you uh, contacting me. I appreciate, uh, I was with Mr. Riley yesterday, and he said your interview with him was uh, about an hour long or so. Yeah, and I'm just getting ready to, I'm just getting ready to end this one myself, too. Well, look, I'd like to see what... Are you going to put this on website or something? Or something or? Yeah, hold on one second, Megan. Let me end this here and then uh, stay on the phone and uh, I'll tell you where you can find it. Uh, Mackie, I want to thank you for doing this for me and Elvis I, Express I, I Radio. I would like to meet you. If you ever want to come down to our part of the world, we'll treat you nice. You just stay here at my house. 
a day or two. I'd love to. <laughs> day or two. Nice if you'd ever come. Just as long as you're out for a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, Mackie. Say goodbye to the fans, and I'll be with you in just a minute, Mackie. Okay. Say Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>